Hey, what's up, everybody? We Man here, and my buddy Pacho Moller, and we're back. Yeah, we've changed the studio a little bit, but we did it because we want to, you know, add our logo in the background. Absolutely, Ponch designed it. Well, we designed it together. Yeah, we designed it together. But uh, we, we wanted it generic and simple and easy, and that's is, this is what you get. Yeah. So we're excited to be back. Another uh, episode of Little Revolution. Pancho Muller, Jason Acuna, Wee Man. And today. Oh my gosh. Today. Our guest. Oh God. <laughs> I, 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 you just do your thing, dude. Long, this is... long time acquaintance. I mean, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up of a guy. Yeah. But sit down comedian. Hick <laughs> sidekick. Ex, yeah, I got myself sidekick. Ex sidekick. I got myself a new sidekick. <laughs> good, luck, good luck with that job, Poncho. <laughs> no, but everybody, here's uh, my great longtime friend, pal, buddy, Preston Lacey. Woo! Thank you for having me. <laughs> What's going on, bud? Oh, happy to be here. Hey, are you guys related? Uh, yes, every dwarf is related. <laughs> we all have the same dad. Do people, do people ask you if you know other dwarfs, dwarfs because they know one? Yeah, no, totally. And then they get us all confused and they think we're all the same person. See, we've talked about that before. The fat guy community doesn't operate like the little guy community That's does. true, because you've are, seen you guys it. Are, you guys are solid. We are not. Yeah, Preston told me one We're kind of like, like, like Asians, because you know how there's that saying that all Asians look alike, too? Yeah. Like, should we take that out? We're gonna take that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna we're gonna leave that in. You're fine, dude. All Mexicans look alike, no. <laughs> so we're good. You're fine. <laughs> Three no. quarters of the world's population yeah. right out of the gate. Yeah. Um, no, but uh, uh, Preston saw me walking down the street and saw another little dude, and we gave the like, "What's up, got you, buddy?" And he gave the "What's up." And Preston goes, wow, you guys really do that? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's what little dudes do, you know? It's like a thing that you stare at each other and you, like, just, you don't, like, like look at each other, but you just look and, and then you, you get one glance at the other person <laughs> looking at you in the eyes and you, it's like, I know the life, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> I was in, walking in New York City and I saw a little guy skating and I could see him. As he got closer and closer, his eyes got bigger and bigger and the skateboard comes to a skid right on me and he goes, oh, my God. You're a wee man's Preston, aren't you? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> wee man's <laughs> Preston. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. You never he's, told me oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah. His name is Herm. He's a skateboarder. Yeah, he's really good. Really? Yeah. Herm. Herm. You gotta yeah. get him on the show. Yeah, we yeah, gotta absolutely. find He would love that for sure. Yeah, you gotta he, find Herm. I, yeah, I'm friends with him on the Instagram. Oh, you are? Yeah. yeah. So you gotta send it nice. to me later. Yeah. You're, nice yeah. to, you're nice to me and I'll be nice to you. That's cool. Mm. Your, bro, your new bro, Herm. <laughs> so as I was punching him. <laughs> Jason guy. got a little jealous. He's like, Herm, who's this Herm guy coming into your life? <laughs> there can only be one in your life and that's me. <laughs> Jason's like, how good of a skater is he? <laughs> Speaking of skateboarding, I actually did go skateboarding this past weekend, mm -hmm. and I was pretty excited. I kind of take little breaks lately, now that we're older dudes, <laughs> and Punch and I have been doing this more. But uh, yeah, I went skating with world-famous Jeremy Ray and a couple other dudes, Jose Serta and my buddy, and we had a blast. Does does Jeremy Ray still do the best front side through 60s? Is he still doing those, or is he just uh, settled, settled down? He didn't bust him out that day. We uh, we skated some curbs, but we he as soon as everybody got like warmed up, he's like, "Let me pull the camera out." And I go, oh, "Great, here we go." And we put a little video together. That and by camera, do you mean the iPhone? No, GoPro oh. on the end of a stick. He has like a whole setup. It's pretty rad. But uh, I was disappointed because Preston invited me to go watch the Chiefs with him this weekend at a you know at a bar. But then I realized they even played. Right here in L.A., and we could have went to the game, too. We could have spent more time together. Last time we went to the, see the Rams and the Chiefs play, they kept putting Wee Man on the Jumbotron like this, and they'd boot half of my face. <laughs> well, <Every> <laughs> well, Preston's over there sitting there with a big Kansas City hoodie shirt oh, on. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah, they're like, we ain't putting that guy on the screen with the, with the enemy team well, logo that, so on. So that's the picture that you get. Like, it's like half... Half of you, whenever I take pictures with anybody and we're standing, 
it'll, it'll be like a floating head and then they're the, and the, then half of their body. I'm like, dude, can you just like get us like all in the photo? Like, why is it always a floating head? I'm like, hey guys, I'm yeah, down here. As a, as a fat person, you never want to be in the foreground in a photo because your face is so big. It's kind of like back angle. Got to know your angles. Do you do you do stand up? I used to. I haven't. Because okay, I was I reading your Wikipedia. Nice. And uh, Wikipedia? It said that you, I, I Wikipedia. Had, Wikipedia. Yeah, what is we, it? You, it's Wikipedia. You said Wikipedia. It's Wikipedia, bro. <laughs> Wikipedia. It's a it's a tongue twister. But I was reading it, and it said that you used to do, that you did stand up. It, you don't do it anymore. Mm -mm. I just haven't. Not since the uh, last uh, movie came out, I haven't been doing it. It's just hard to write new material, and I don't want to do you know twenty year old jokes. Yeah. You know about Steve O snorting semen. It's like. <laughs> Eventually, you got to do something new, and it's you know, one of my observational comedy. You don't talk yeah. about being fat on the airline seat. I'm yeah. gonna take you so far. Uh -huh. Of course, everybody does hate Spirit Airlines. It's <laughs> about to edit that out too. No, not at all. <laughs> airplane seat for us is like a lazy boy. Oh, I That's three seats. He lays down. I'm three chilling. seats. He like, yeah, he's like this, like lays down. Mm. <laughs> Even Tremaine said it. It's first class for <laughs> me in any part of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um. But actually, we did go, uh, we went out like kind of comedy that one time uh, this last year. We called it the Fuck It List Tour because uh, Steve-O yeah. was out on the Bucket List Tour. And we kind of do things so we can hang out. So we invite Dave England, too. And we just go out, actually, just to say some jokes. But You tell stories, long, full long kind of stories. Not full stories. Like, we cut to the chase, get funny. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> No, but do do you guys have like a like a like a PowerPoint kind of like how Steve-O has his whole thing? Like he'll be saying his joke and he'll have like something going on in the background to show like what they're doing. No, we're not that high tech. Okay, at all. This is pretty much as high tech as I've gotten lately. We don't know. use video yeah. as this, a crush. And this is pretty tech. <laughs> wow. This is Canva, baby. No, Steve will murder me for something like that. No, that's staying. <laughs> I'm going to turn the volume up on that one. <laughs> Sub, I heard it off to the... I'm going to make sure it's slow-mo it. <laughs> Replay. So you're, you're from Missouri. Mm -hmm. And did you move out here like... Before the first Jackass, oh, to, do, yeah. to, to to be a an actor, or yeah, a stuntman, yeah, man, yeah. Like. to be a, to be an actor. I moved out here in my uh, 1987 Mazda pickup truck with 300 and something dollars in my savings, and uh, just tried to get acting jobs. And uh, I was actually on the uh, Tonight Show for a couple of years doing the skits at the beginning yeah. on there. Dude, you're and, you're like a perfect character for like lot of things i don't like well you you're saying why working. are you not successful no no not like that no. <laughs> that's why no, i'm like, hearing you <laughs> no absolutely not you you just got a good look especially with nowadays with the inclusivity and everything that's going on like you would be great i don't, you don't call me up i'll happily act in your movie hire this dude <laughs> preston's ready he'll fly out from Missouri. Yeah, and it's about the per diem, you know. <laughs> if you don't, it's, it's if you don't live, a, if you're not on location, you get per diem, dude. So, <laughs> dude, and that always sucked every time we filmed here in California. Yeah, Preston would get a little extra wad of cash in his pocket, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. The door, like, well, you live here, you can eat all you. <laughs> and here's Preston just getting extra money. That's great. Dude. It's like by mileage too. And Dave England was like one or two miles too far for, or too, too close, I should say. Yeah, he able to get it. He couldn't get it. He was so mad. <laughs> he was like, if I just lived one or two miles farther, I would get that. Yeah, sucked. But uh. Besides, you know, watching Chiefs games and stuff, what else have you been up to? I've been lately? writing, writing like crazy. I've been working on uh, my uh, Talking Dog uh, horror Christmas movie a lot. What's yeah. that? Talking I, Dog horror Christmas movie. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to make a movie and have people watch it and sell it, it yeah. needs to be a Talking Dog movie. It needs to be a Christmas movie, and it needs to be a horror movie. So I'm combining them all. Those are the, some of the best genres, yeah. dude. Yeah, I'm just combining them all because they're seasonal. Movie. Yeah. Seasonal, yeah. they're always going to play it. So I count on YouTube for a role, I'm sure. Well, we're here. <laughs> Phone's waiting to be rung. I'll pick up. <laughs> well, actually, just That's call it. Alan. I started to say. Yeah, you call him. Alan, bro. You want to get to me, you call Alan. <laughs> um, have you been writing it with anybody? Because I remember, like, you've done TV the movie, which was great. And but you co-produced it with Mickey and. Oh uh, no, with Sam Macaroni. With Sam Macaroni, yeah. Not with me. yeah. 
And are you writing this one with anybody? Uh, with Sam McCrody, he's been helping me a little bit on. Oh yes, just on the structure. I like Sam because he, he's, he a, he's a talented he's guy. With the just setting it up the dialogue and stuff, you know, because I can do two people talking, but it's hard. You have to have where they at, you know, what room they're in, what they're doing, you know. It's there's, yeah. a, there's a format to it for sure. Oh, of course. And he's, you know, I probably should pick someone <laughs> a little more experienced, but that's all right. So you you're you're looking for voiceover actors for the dogs. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I, it's, 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 so a, it, it's a mission. I actually played a, a dog in a, in a Christmas movie once one time. I was rusty. I had ruined Christmas. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I was in a, a really low budget Christmas movie called Up on the Wooftop, where I played, <laughs> where I played Rusty, a, uh, a dog that ruined Christmas. No yeah, way. Yeah, a chihuahua. Oh, of course he was. <laughs> yeah. And I played the pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so you're writing this movie. Uh, are you coming out and talking to Sam? Are you guys doing yeah, things? Yeah, we're just on the phone and the computer all the time. Yeah. yeah. Is, is Sam still doing a lot of YouTube stuff? Uh, no, he's doing more features and okay. movies and stuff. He's been writing his own movie, too, a lot. He's working on hard. Yeah, he's doing well. He's, he's doing really well. Awesome. And then, uh, well, speaking of the Chiefs, What's your take on uh, Taylor Swift? I love Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah? I love yeah. Taylor Swift, too. I got nothing against Taylor yeah, Swift. I love She's her fucking too. hot. <clears throat> I saw her in concert. I was there. I was you there. went to that concert? Not the one recently. Okay. I saw her a few years back. I saw her in uh, in 2021 or 20. Yeah, maybe it's 2020 or 2020. I saw her. It was, no, it was right before COVID. So it was 2019. I saw her and she was awesome. I was like third row. But I felt creepy. She puts on a show, huh? Oh, she puts on a full show. Why did you feel creepy? Uh, I'm there, and it's all the, like, Swifties that are, like... All the little like, young girls. Yeah, and you're, you're like, yeah. hey, guys. Yeah, and you just... Oh, you're, you're like, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Travis Kelsey had to move to a, a gated community because the Swifty fans kept going up and pounding on his door. And saying that we know Taylor's here, you gotta let us see her. And he's like, Shut up! Oh, they weren't even there for him. They no. were there for him. Yeah, no, absolutely. They came up, and pounded on his door. It's like he's oh, like, so we gotta move. It's too. Oh, it's so it's like that. Yeah. They're like living together. Yeah, oh yeah, no, she's other. in Kansas City all the time, which is just amazing. You know, for us, it's like wow, one of the biggest stars in the world, and she's in Missouri. <laughs> well, second now. Well, you're the second biggest star now in in Kansas City. That's where Brad Pitt's from. Is it? Yeah. Well, he ain't there anymore. <laughs> He's over there with all the others, like Knoxville and Malibu. <laughs> all right, we're going down a dangerous path there. <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> He's the tip of the spear. Yep. Have you talked to any of the other boys lately? Uh, I know Dave. That's an obvious one. Uh, Aaron a little bit. Uh, Dave. Uh, uh, Steve-O two weeks ago. He's been in uh, Tennessee. He lives, has a house in Tennessee now. Yeah, he's trying to do his yeah. farm life <laughs> with animals and all that. Oh, he, he, he saves do- He's a dog rescue guy, right? Uh, he's saved two dogs now. But like, uh, okay. But no, well, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I'd call it saved, but he went and kidnapped two different dogs from two different areas. Yeah. He didn't go like, I'm coming here to save a dog. Yeah. Some dog finds him that he feels sorry for, like in Peru or wherever. And he just goes, well, I'm bringing this dog back. And doesn't even put it in a cage or nothing. He just puts it on his lap and flies home with puts the Puts it dog. On, his, uh, on his lap with like a service jacket on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think he goes that wow. far. Yeah. He but, said he said that, you know, he's had some big videos, but the only one that's had like hundreds of millions of views is his dog video. Oh, yeah. And he's like, damn. <laughs> oh, Wendy steals the show yeah. from him. He's a star. Yeah. wendy <laughs> She totally steals the show. Uh, no, he's uh, he's trying to do a, a farm with a whole bunch of like rescue animals, like mm. everything. He has a pig now, and I don't know if he has chickens yet or anything, but he's got the dogs and a pig. And is it just a lot cheaper to do it somewhere like Tennessee than out here, like in the oh, totally Valley dude. Country? Oh, yeah, night and day, yeah. Yeah, you get more, you get more for land, you get more for your buck. Um, Food's cheaper, everything's cheaper, so it's good. Hey, Preston, when you first got in with, like, did you guys, is, did you guys know each other first? No. Was it from Big Brother? No, mm-hmm. not, at, not all. at all. Um, it, so it didn't, you didn't come Knox, from that world. Knoxville just said, uh, write some ideas for his show, you know, kind of explain the show and stuff. And I'd known that because they'd worked with Wee Man and, 
Big Brother magazine. And how did you know Knoxville? Uh, I through a friend of ours named uh, Jason Fiegel. Okay. And uh, we became just became acquaintances, to use your term. And he started telling me a show and asked me to write him some ideas. And I wrote him some, and including Wee Man, I thought it would be really funny. And he's like, well, J- Jeff and him both said, you've got to convince Wee Man. Because I said, I want to chase Wee Man in our underpants in the street in West Hollywood. And he was like, you got to convince Wee Man of that. And I don't, you know, he may say, F you, you know. <laughs> so I had to go to who I did not know, you know, and said, hi, Jason, I'm Preston. <laughs> you know, I, I got this that was idea. A great that. Jason, too, let's do it. What are you talking about? That you know? skit has been done around the world. We've beaten it to a pulp <laughs> in different countries. We did it in, in Japan. We did it in India. We've done it all over the United States. Was it crazy when you did it in India? No, the India one was the final one. Okay. Because in India, it, it's actually funny. I'll tell a little backstory, but we planned it like this. Is, okay, we've beaten this horse. Let's end this bit. You know, we can't keep going with this bit. So the bit was Preston chases me down the street in India and we turn a corner and then all of a sudden we come back and now it's me with an army of little Indian dudes, little like Pancho and Wee Man little dudes from India chasing Preston down. Preston's just screaming. And that, that was the finisher. Wow. That was, and... Uh, there's one guy, and Jeff always says, this guy knows how to get his camera time because the whole group followed me, and then around at the end, there's this one little last dude, and he got his own screen time. Wow. Yeah, it was awesome. Where did you find so many? They little, ca- is there like a city of them out there? I have no clue, but here's the backstory I was going to tell. We show up to set that day, and they're telling me the story. I'm like, oh, this is a good, easy day for, you know, for working because we never know what we're going to do. And they had about 15 little dudes already in tidy whities and the wife beater shirts. And I walk, and they're all Indian, like India Indian. Um, and I walk in full gringo, and I could tell they were chit-chatting and all excited. They didn't know what they were doing. And then I walk in, and they're like, what the hell is going to go on? <laughs> and I'm like, hey, guys, we're going to work together. And they were just so they they were they they were so confused. They didn't know what the bit was, and they didn't know why all of them, you know, were the same. And then here comes the white guy. <laughs> Jeez, were you bigger than all of them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they, Indian little people are are smaller, like kind of like. No, I think there was one or two that were the same height as me, but then most of them were shorter, shorter, like Mark's height and yeah. stuff like that. Well, the whole country's skinnier than the U.S. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. they eat good out there. I don't know if I call it good. I fucking love Indian food. <laughs> I, I love fun. Indian yeah. food too. I love Indian food, dude. I just don't like it before doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking have a blowout on stage, dude. <laughs> what? That's funny. I know. You no, should. it's not funny. It's no. funny. I bet you would, the crowd would love it. Yeah, they. Uh, I know you would. You'd yeah. be like, that was. I punched in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. We shot in Bollywood where they do all the big movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they hired uh, the production crew that did Slumdog Millionaire to go with our crew and help us and everything. And it was, you know, it was an Academy Award winning operation. And we were the exact opposite. And those guys were so freaked out by us. <laughs> yeah. It, it was. We had like these beautiful, amazing Indian dancers in a background. Of uh, the guy with the longest nails, mm. he's from India, and the bit was Steve-O was to dr- like drink a beer that got poured through the guy's nails, mm. like he's at the end of the nails, yeah. And Steve-O, of course, who throws up off of everything, just started dry heaving, dry- and the women hated it. I bet they were like, yeah, they were so "What wild. is this?" Like it w- it ruined their day. What, what do you think makes someone grow their nails that long? We had, I say we, we didn't, our production had to give him a $200,000 deposit just in case we would do anything jackass stuff that would break those nails. If oh any God. one yeah. of those nails yeah. broke, he got to keep yeah. 200 grand. Yeah. But I tell yeah. you, it was one of the more disgusting things I've ever seen. And it smelled so, like in person so, too. So, so gross. Was it warm beer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a like, warm cor- beer. <laughs> <laughs> warm beer going down <laughs> some disgusting <laughs> fingernails. <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> it was... Those oh, girls were pissed. Oh, man. dude. And they were like... 
they were like model girls in those like Indian dance, like, you know, the dance dresses that they wear. And they were just in the background. They didn't shake it. Oh, they were shaking it. And wow. then they ran. Like, it was insane. It, it, it was like <laughs> chaos. They're like, these fucking Americans are gross. <laughs> yes. <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> yep. And, but it was like, <coughs> we, did we even use that bit? Uh, no. Huh? No, because we didn't. The only no, bit was, we used was the Indian and, chase. And they talked about how they spent just a ton of money flying us all over there. And we ended up getting just that one That's what I was going to ask. Like, so you guys of, flew yeah. all the way to India. Whole cast. Steve-O. No, no. To, we, to do that bit. Uh, we did this bit. We did Steve-O's bit. We also got Aaron on a bed of nails there. Got Aaron on a bed of nails, which became like a, a credits bit. Yeah. His thing was credits. And like nothing, not, we didn't get any gold. The only gold we got was Preston chasing or me, and then it turns into me and a gang of little dudes chasing oh, Preston. Nice. Yes, thirty seconds, ninety seconds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was insane. Wow. <laughs> so, all the way out there to do that. That's that's cool though. I mean, you guys did get that. That was gold. It's it is it's gold. memorable, and like, it you know ended I mean. that oh, bit. Okay, let's get into this. This is great. Uh, I was gonna do a uh, lip- liposuction uh, Monte Cristo sandwich there. That's right. I was right. gonna go there. We had set it up to go there, where they were gonna give me liposuction. What the, what's liposuction? Where they go in with like a surgery and they take a, a they sc- suck out the scrubber fat. thing and they suck the fat out of you. Okay. Oh. And then we were gonna take that fat and put it in a fry daddy and cook a Monte Cristo sandwich in it. And I was gonna attempt to eat the sandwich. So, <laughs> just look on Pancho's face right now. <laughs> tell how, like, <laughs> dude, tell I don't how understand why this was, didn't so, happen. So, I get, like, to, so I get, so this, we get to India and in Jaipur, India, and I go to, there's two hospitals in town, public and private. And I went to the private hospital, the good one. There was no air conditioning. Nobody wore any rubber gloves or anything. No shoes. <laughs> They're just gorilla Yeah, dude. they go in there and they, and they, they did, they get to the point where they, they took my blood. And, and the thing, and then all of a sudden I look up and the doctor's backed out. He goes, no, 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 I can't do this. This is, this is not going to look good. Look good. And then our producers, I saw them, they tried to offer him a ton of money. And he's like, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Wow. And we're like, well, shit, that's why we came over here. And then uh, one of our copycats, uh, jackass copycats, ended up doing that over in uh, How did they hear uh, about that, that uh, whole Amsterdam, thing? Amsterdam. The, the copycats, how did they hear about that? You were going to do that, and then they went and did it. It gets spread. Oh, yeah, it gets. I did get turned around. So, like, wait. Like Steve you, talked about it. In, in, in yeah. They were going to suck yeah. your fat out, and yeah. then, like, what, like, like fry was, it, like, <laughs> to make it, like, like a hamburger? Like, yeah, kind of like a, uh, like a panini. There was going to be bread and everything, and it was going to be a panini. You, uh, put tomatoes, onions, <laughs> mayonnaise, and just, you were going to Well, Jeff just, was the one who made it a Monte Cristo sandwich, because they really suck up the fat. Yeah. It's like a battered, deep-fried sandwich. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> But I mean, I'm telling you, it, was, it, it went down, it fell apart the last second. I was just <laughs> seconds away from having on-camera surgery in India. Yeah. <laughs> and then eating my own body, cannibalism. Yeah. yeah. Damn, man. That's crazy. And that's we, crazy that, like, there was a copycat that went and did it. Did well, they that, that, that would have been a movie ender. I mean, that would have been the end of the movie. That yeah. Happened. Oh, that, yeah, that, that's, a, <laughs> that's a good ender, yeah. that for sure. Yep. You would have had the theaters filled with throw-up. At the end of the movie, people are like, Bruh. "You think Steve-O gets throw up? Watch this!" You should have seen Jeff and PJ when I pitched them that idea. They were like <laughs> hugging you, go! Oh man, it's like, oh yes, 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 yes. How the fuck did you think of that? That's just nuts. I was just so we all do. We just try to come up with the most messed up stuff you can do. You know, wow, Preston's come up. With the majority of the stuff we've done. That you guys have done together? Yeah. No, not even just that we've done together. That we've done in the whole movie. No, that's not really true. In the early in the series. Yeah, in the series, yeah. yeah. Now, not, is there now, something a, that you... Hell, there's like professional writers now. Yeah. You know? Oh, really? Okay, for all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's, is there well, now they really? just Google. I've yeah. noticed a lot of the stuff they Google. Oh, really? Yeah. Is there like a stunt that you guys did together where you were like, fuck this. I, I'm not doing this, dude. No way. A lot of them I didn't want to do. Really? A lot of them? them? But is well, there a main that, one? We did the bungee on the Causeway Bridge okay. in Florida. I couldn't even speak. I got up there on top of that bridge and I couldn't. They were pressing to do an intro and I'm like, uh, uh, starting, Jason's is like, that why be, he does the intro. You're talking. He's the only one talking. I can't even, I can't even get words out. Are you scared yeah. of heights? Oh, sh- yeah. Horribly okay. scared. 
And they were like, all right, all right, hold on, hold on, cut, 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 wait a minute. And it's a big, giant ship goes underneath that bridge. And it's like, <laughs> how tall is this freaking bridge? The ship just went underneath it. <laughs> Jeff, well, you need to jump off something for a bungee. Like, yeah. it's got to be hot. Jeff, yeah, no, it's Jeff and Knoxville the day before said, hey, we got to take a little road trip. And I said, all right. And they drove me to the bridge first. And they said, will you jump off this bridge if we get pressed in on this ledge? But like a, as a bungee? Yeah. Okay. And I go, oh, I knew the bit. Okay. So they just wanted me to go see the bridge to make sure I'd jump. And I, we went over there. I'm like, dude. Jump off this all day. I used to jump. We when we were kids, we used to jump off Hermosa Pier all the time. You know, we'd do it in the summertime while people are out, tourists are out there, and I just run them back. Oh no, my Got a ball. Yeah, boom, and just jump over. Yeah. And I'm like, this yeah. is nothing. Just get pressed in here, and I'll do it. Wow. I had a guest star, uh, NFL football star named Jason Taylor was there after we did this stunt. He was like, man, you are a badass, dude. Oh, you're so badass. And I was like, I almost passed out from fear a second ago. He's <laughs> saying I'm badass. I'm scared now. <laughs> and that was also when one of the medics uh, came up to Jeff and goes, Jeff, look at my angle on her phone, where she filmed our stunt on her phone. and was right behind Dimitri, which yeah. was the gold shot that mm. we got anyway. And he was like, let it, me see that phone, and just immediately deleted oh, everything. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This was right when videos started yeah. first coming out on camera. I mean, it wasn't high quality. Like but on, it's on still, people's phones? Yeah. On people, okay. I think it still was even a flip phone with yeah. video. And wow. we were like, oh, great. And that's when we knew we had to start, like, okay, other people that come on the set, no more cameras. Like signing and, NDAs. And yeah, shit. everything had to get done, so... Mm. That's right. Now we do more remote places to keep yeah. the drones and stuff. Backyard stuff. When we filmed Jackass 3D, <laughs> it was the first day, Bam called the cops on Aaron. Like, literally <laughs> called 911 and said, dude, there's this crazy man on the set. Like, we're here filming and there's... A and the Bam whoop, did? Yeah, and the cops came. Helicopter came over. <laughs> and we're like, is this a bit? And then Bam's like, hell no, I called. <laughs> oh, my God. They, they were like, we know this is funny, but you guys got to stop it. They say like, they'll, the LAPD will shut down production right now. They don't like you messing around like this, doing this, you know. But we just thought it was so funny because we wanted Aaron to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> and did Aaron get arrested? No, they, no. they came, but they let him go. Wow. But it was, it was awesome. Yeah, it was his first day, too. Like, day one, out of the gates, yeah. hot. <laughs> that sounds pretty gnarly, dude. In Simi Valley. Yeah. Did yeah. you did you ever get hit by the hand? Yeah, yeah. But I just it was it was I just got knocked down and I and I, I landed on my knees. Okay. And then it just they didn't use it in the thing. I remember. So what happened was they didn't want to get me because of the height of the hand. It might knock your head off. Yeah. So they pulled me around and brought me to the kitchen to show me. And I'm like, oh, well, let me play foosball here, and I'll, I'll get the guys in. And they didn't have it down to a science. And Preston was one of the, <laughs> Preston was one of the first guys, and they were late oh, to man. letting the hand go. He'd already pretty much – so when it came, it wasn't full extended, and it just backed him into the corner of the wall. He's like, oh, okay, guys, this was funny. And that's why it didn't get put in. So then each time they tried to think of something funnier, funnier. Yeah, and Aaron's was really good with the soup. And then, yeah. of course, Bam's is one of the bigger things we've oh, ever had. Yeah, Bam's know? is good. Aaron's was really good. And Aaron, it was Aaron's idea to put flour on no, the... No, uh, Wee Man's idea. Oh, oh, oh. To put flour? And Dave Steal it tried to oh, steal to it. <laughs> he ran. He ran. He, I said it, and he ran into <laughs> Jeff's office and goes, Jeff, Jeff, great idea. And I'm like... And then he goes back, oh, they didn't like that idea. You can have it. He tells me that you can, you can have it. Wow. I'm like, fuck you, Dave. The creative politics on Jackass are fun. Oh, dude. <laughs> Don't claim someone's idea, dude, especially not mine. Because I'm a now, are, are all these ideas already, like, thought out and written before you do them? Or are, they, are, are some, like, you guys come up with them the day of? Same. It's a little bit of both. Okay. Yeah, we do both. Sometimes we'll, we've talked about this many times. People are going to know. Um, we get this elaborate bit that we're going to do. And then while we're there, we film like side pranks on each other. And those pranks will actually make it. And that bit might not, you know. Mm. So 
it just all depends on the day and what we're doing and where we're at. And how good the bit is. And how good the bit is, too. Yeah, the bit better be gold. Like, there's no faking bits. Was there any ever any things like that, like Steve-O did, because he seems like he did some of the grossest things, where everyone was vomiting on set? The... uh I forget what it was. I think it was called Poop, the Rube Bungie. The Rube, porta potty. That yeah, made Rube me vomit. Goldberg. No, not the porta potty one. Where we did all the contraptions flying together. Okay, that's the Rube thing, Goldberg and thing. They had him in a dunk tank, but it was filled with like entrails and feces and stuff. And it was a Florida and it got hot. And like the stuff started swelling up and gas was coming out. It was one of the grossest things I've ever seen. And he got, you know, plunged right down in it. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know what part of the that bit he was at, but it didn't mess me up. I was up on the... Plodchinko or whatever. Yeah, you, you don't get grossed out quick. I do. The one I remember from Steve-O was the Porta Bun the, yeah, the that, Bungee. That, that. Because shit was coming out of the seams and it was like coming down as he shot up and I was just like, Bah. So there's he a, was in a, it. There's a clip on the series where I forget his name's a famous director that PJ knew, and he had a, a cyst on his face and he <laughs> squeezed it on there. And I mean Eight inches of pus comes out. Yes, of his face. I remember and that. And that's the grossest thing I think we've ever played. Wait, they, they yeah. squeezed it so out. So they yeah. squeezed his, yeah, like cis pimple. Like an infected zit, yeah. It was, it looked like a worm came out of oh, it. Yeah. 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 yeah, but it was all white. Yeah. <laughs> and then Steve O yeah. ate it? Oh, God, no. <laughs> 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 Where were you that day? We needed that bit. <laughs> That's a, that's a new guy. That's one of the new guys' job there. Like, boobies, yeah. get over yeah. here. <laughs> Let's eat some pus. <laughs> I am boobies, and today I'm going to eat some pus. <laughs> with with the new guys that you guys get on, are are, are you guys kind of like more so like they got to earn their keep? That it's like totally. an initiation. Initiation. That make poopies do it, or make make Jasper do it. It's kind of yeah, like that. But it's it's it's. Everybody is under the gun when we're filming so oh, much it seems anyway. Like that, you know, yeah. it's not like it's, it's separated and then they're like, we're over here and over there. And, you know, we can say, hey, no, it's everybody. And they don't care, you know, if you're old or new. They just want to get bits, you know. Mm. Ever since when we even started, we never wore like jackass stuff or whatever. We never, we, people knew we were in jackass. Like we didn't have to like, you know, well, promote yeah, it. I mean. As soon as they got on and all the swag started coming, they wore it everywhere daily and it's like why are you you know like you don't need to you know this is this is Uh, for the crowd (laughs) but they wore it like oh yeah i'm in it this is us yeah that's i I feel like that's kind of how the newer generation is anyway (laughs) yeah when it comes to that no we net we never did jeff got on the cast bus where we all hung out and it's like all right today we're doing murder hornet lip injections who's it gonna be and i was like well he'll surely pick one of the newbies for this and he goes preston you're up i'm like oh shit and so i'm walking down there to get a murder hornet lip injection and one of the medical people goes jeff no preston's allergic to stings you can't do it you can't do it and i got a reprieve it was like i was going down to death row and they're like preston get out of there zach you're in you had your little doctor's note (laughs) (laughs) i got doctors noted out thank you (laughs) and and they just said, Zach, you're up. And he's like, oh, shit. So Zach went and did it, and then they didn't make the movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It did. And then they had to wait, and uh, Rachel had no bits. Yeah. It's a good and bit. they're like, we got to get her something. And then they thought of the lip injection for her. Like, <laughs> what do girls do anyway, you know? Should have been a girl so, in the first place. Yeah. yeah. So that's when it turned to her bit. <laughs> Um, oh, poor Zach on that. <laughs> he got the short end of the stick on he that. Did, he thing. got it on a couple of things. I've it noticed. seems like yeah. He uh, was he like I'll do it with everything. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. is a go for it. Really? He'll, you say something. He doesn't even think twice. Go. Yeah, there was a giant tower in one of the places we we're filming, and Jeff jokingly said, "We're going to put a mattress down there, Zach. I want you to climb to the top and jump off to the mattress." Which would have just killed anybody. And he was sitting there getting himself psyched up to do it. And it's like <laughs> Wow. He didn't he didn't fight it at all. I fight all the bits. I'm like, no, Jeff, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I wanted in which movie it was where they did the uh, electric shock, you know, the little pads. And Number two. It. Yeah. And Dave is like, No way, you're not putting that on my nutsack. No way. <laughs> Next frame right on his nutsack. Uh. <laughs> 
just immediately. No, we all came. That's part of the fun, though. You know, you, you know, you know that you're gonna pressure you. You know, and it's fun. It's fun uh, dodging pranks too, trying to figure out who's pranking who and stuff. Yes. Did you Did you ever get really hurt on anything? Um, broke some my ribs in the series on a human bowling ball, and then uh, I hurt my shoulder. Still hurts on uh, where we smashed we man Zach and I. Oh, okay. So that was, yeah. So you, you hurt yourself when you more so when you were a little older when you guys filmed ten years later. Oh yeah, but we all yeah. got banged up, you know. Yeah. That's, I know he he told me about he, he got knocked out. Yeah, the concussions are the, the concussions are the worst thing. That's that's what Poobies was asking me, you know, how it worked, and I said just try to do bits where you don't get hit in the head because you're gonna end up accidentally getting hit in the head anyway. So don't pick bits where you're getting pummeled in the head. That's why Stevo has one where he's getting call flower ear. And they're just banging him in the head with a golf club and stuff. Yeah. And it's like, no, no, no. You can't, the head can't take that, you know? No way. What about the ender for, I think it was number two, where we did the dance routine and you and I slid down? Oh, yeah. You got pretty messed up on that when you oh, hit yeah. the when you hit yeah, the camera. Yeah, knocked out on the camera stand, too. Yeah. Wow. We launched off this, like, I would say second floor ramp. It was like a mini mega ramp. Into what? Into trash cans. And what they kept trying different lubricants like soap or whatever, and we'd get stuck right at the end of the transition, the dip before the launch ramp. And someone's like, get sex lube. And they went and bought gallons of it and poured it down. And I was on the back of Preston's shoulders. And all I did was go like this and I touched it and I'm like, we're going to fucking launch, dude. <laughs> I, told, <laughs> I told him in his ear, I'm like, be ready. We're about to launch. You're, we're about to glide. <laughs> yeah. And because of how it did it before, they put the cameras like six feet, seven feet away from the launch. We fucking boom <laughs> through the trash cans. I flew off of press and press and just went straight into the cameras, knocked him back. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was like, it, it was like you guys had, remember on, uh, I don't know if you guys seen, uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, oh, where yeah. he puts that stuff oh. on his sled. Oh, and yeah. It fucking flies. <laughs> yeah. It was totally <laughs> and, and it's all burned. The bottom's all burned <laughs> off there. It was That totally was in, uh, on the Paramount lot. They filmed Ben-Hur in that exact studio. It's like, you know, yeah. historically just unbelievable that we were able to go in there and film and do silly stuff. <laughs> yeah, they filmed Ben-Hur there, and then you guys are using, like, gallons of lube to, like, slide. <laughs> <laughs> and go through trash cans. <laughs> Our prop guy uh, went, got the lube and bought uh, thousands of dildos. And the guy at the sex shop was like, what are you doing with all this stuff? <laughs> and he goes, oh, I, we make movies. I'm doing Jack. And he goes, oh, okay. He goes, you know, we sell used dildos. He's like, you do? He goes, yeah, we have hundreds. He goes, I'll buy every one of them you have. And he bought all of them. And if you've seen that end of that one movie where we're all flying around. Uh, and the, the yeah, dildos yeah. are flying through. And all <laughs> those that. are all like <laughs> Hollywood used <laughs> dildos. Wow. It's yep. a used dildo business. Yeah. But I wonder how good they clean them. <laughs> That's the big question. Who's job is that? a pot of boiling water. No. <laughs> That's it? Probably. Boiling water cleans off syphilis and it, all it, that. It burns it all <laughs> off. Off the dildos. <laughs> yeah, it burns it all off. Boils it what all off. What kind of day dildo. job you have, dude? I'm just smart, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart? That's super smart. <laughs> yeah. I'll remember that one. I'll teach you. Oh, I, I'm good. I don't think I'm going for a dildo cleaning job. Mm. Hey, where did you guys meet at? Skateboarding. Skateboarding. Like, uh, that's kind of how we met, through skateboarding. Actually, the first time we even talked to each other was a phone call, but it was cool. The first phone call, I was like, if we were in the magazine together. It was actually when we first both got released into the skateboard world. If these dudes are skating, they're about to be pros. Here they are, boom. Yeah. And so I was at Big Brother, because we were in Big Brother, obviously. And I called and I said, hey, Bunch, it's me, man. Just want to say what up. Glad we're, you know, together. Boom. The next phone call was, so you want to fight? <laughs> Everybody in the skateboard world's telling us we should fight. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like everybody was it, egged it on. And so we actually didn't even like each other. We never even met. And I'm like, Years later, I'm like, that's fucked, man, because we could have actually done something pretty rad as a duo. 
Yeah. And the skateboard world kept us out of it. I wrote a bit for you guys years ago where I wanted to take you guys and 69 you and duct tape you together and then attach your skateboards to your shoes and then have you know, skate down and then roll over where one guy is upside down. You know what I'm saying? It's a two-man mm. skateboard rollover where one guy so skates. So your board would be on your feet right there. But then I would be like this. So I'd and just then, be holding you with yeah, your like, nutsack yeah. in my face? Yeah, and then your nutsack would be in my face and my skateboard <laughs> would be on my face. But then we would, we would tumble yeah. and keep skating. Maybe, Maybe we could have some dance belts on okay, where the, like... The nutsack really wasn't the point of the bit, but yeah. okay. <laughs> that just sounds like... I, I mean... Or if we would have back then, we would have been a little weird about it. So we may have gone butts to, you know, butts to butt, butts to face, butts to face. Oh god! But like back of the head, like turn around and do it that way. Yeah, that's a good bit. It is a good bit. That is a good bit. If if you guys do another jackass, I know another skateboarder that would probably do it with you. There you I go. can't skateboard anymore. There Otherwise, you, wait, I would. I would wait, be fucking. You know. There me. you go again, passing the bit, just like you did on Scissor Bros, dude. You didn't want to do it. You were like, go ahead and do it, dude. <laughs> Just oh, yeah. sitting behind, bro, passing the we bit. We ended up winning, though. Yeah, because I talked you into doing yeah. it. So don't be passing bits. I'm not passing the bit. No, <laughs> he's just, doing no, it. No, I just feel with the skateboarding thing. It, it's it's not really it. skating, dude. Yeah. We're just doing tumbles. Yeah. No, he's... Oh, I thought we are on a board rolling. Yeah. yeah it's just... On our feet. Dude, I pictured it so wrong. I pictured it like I was standing. And I have Jason like this, like a bear, like like a, yeah. I'm a bear hugging Jason. He's upside down. Yeah. Yes, his nuts and all that's it's in my face, and I'm skating down the street holding him. And yeah. then we switch it that he holds me. And you roll no, over. No, but how do we roll over though? Like a like a somersault. So we just we go one two three, <laughs> and we somersault together. And now my board's on the ground and your board's in the air. Got it. And I'm holding you Got out it. now. Got it. This so, conversation is so silly. It's funny. <laughs> That sounds that's, like that's something a, like but, that should be done in the Olympics with figure skaters. What? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were about to say that should be in jail. Yeah. There's me passing it on again. Yeah. Right? Like, passing it on. The, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there I you go. know what? We're not going to do this. Get that. Get some kids over there to do it. <laughs> <laughs> me back in the day. No, no, no. You should get Farley for this. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed. Now that were we, you guys ever like that? Like when they were throwing stunts at you and you're like, yeah, Dave would be better for this one. Oh. Oh. All the time because you're like fuck that <laughs> the, <laughs> the fire hose rodeo yeah we all showed up and nobody knew who was gonna do it and all of a sudden dave like partied the night before and he goes you know what i'm showing up today randomly in a clear suit so he had a clear jacket and clear pants and he was naked underneath and as soon as he got out of the van and because that was right when the discussion was who's gonna do this bit Everybody pointed at Dave and went, <laughs> Dave's that like guy. ready for it, that guy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then we, there, it, was, it came to one point where we had to draw straws and for the butthole. The, yeah, um, Mike Judge butthole bellows. Yes. It yeah. came to like, what, like, what was that one? So they're going to have Mike Judge, uh, uh, you know what that is. Uh, you know what Mike Judge is, right? He's no. the voice of Beavis and Butthead. Got it. Yeah. Yes. Right. Have him uh, put some uh, talcum powder in one of our butts and then have him come in with fireplace bellows and put some air in there. Okay. And then you, the gas comes out and blows the thing. And, of course, none of us want to do it, so we drew straws. And the straws came around, and as soon as I drew my straw, it was like that big. Oh, you got the short like, straw. Oh, yeah. no. You know, and 10 minutes later, I had Mike Judge taking stuff up my ass. <laughs> Chris Pine is holding my cheeks apart. And what, what, what did that feel like? Hurt, hurt oh, a lot. Really? Yeah, there's a piece of metal in there, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it was miserable. And, and then thank God some fart came out of there and, got, you know, blew back. <laughs> and thank God even, too. And, and when the fart came out, it was a fart oh, of dust. Yeah. yeah. That's, that was the whole point, <laughs> just a fart dust. But Steve-O <laughs> wanted to be in the bit so bad, put his face yeah, right into Preston's that. ass and let Preston fart the dust on, the, on mm. his face. So he got like a face cleansing. <laughs> the whole time, <laughs> though, I wanted to ask my judge to do voices, but I, you know, I was like, how did you ask? You know, I wasn't, I don't have enough stature to do that. It's like, shit, it'd be so funny, though, if he was doing Beavis or Butthead or uh, Hank, Hank Hill or any of his voices while he's doing that would have been, you know, but. <laughs> you, you, know, you know what's funny when you <laughs> say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, great. I'm putting this in. 
<laughs> Preston's <laughs> butt. <laughs> yeah, that would have been great. It would have actually. He should have. And he says, uh, he, Mike Judge said, though, that day that Knoxville just told him to come by, he had no idea we were filming or anything. He walked into that and that <laughs> stick his stuff on my ass. He didn't know. He was, he, I think, was more nervous than the rest of us yeah. being in that room with all of us. Wow. With the, with the, with the, the, the things that, like the stunts that, that Johnny did, did he write those specifically for himself or did, some, did you guys all come up with it um, and it was like, Johnny will do it? A, a mixture, but okay. a lot of the big ones he wrote, you know. Okay, just, so he wrote them and, and he's like, I'm doing it. All the yeah. animal centric ones he did for all sure. The bull. The bull yeah. fighting, the bull, that's all awesome. those. Yeah, he loves the animals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he loves the bulls. <laughs> Like the last one that he just did where he wanted to do the magic trick for the bull. We're like, dude, you're it's done. Like, stop. You've already, you've proven yourself with bulls. Jesus. Yeah. Those bulls are like a Volkswagen. They're so big. And, and they're so powerful. Mean. And they just hate you. Do they just hate like like if we were in the room right we're in the room right now and there was a bull there, would it come for Jason because he's wearing red? It, it, yeah, if we were all perfectly still, we'd stand a chance. But more than likely, the three of us couldn't be perfectly still no. in that situation. <laughs> and yeah, we'd go for <laughs> movement. You would go like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's they, I, oh, I, so they go. They work off movement, not movement, off color. Not off color. It's funny that okay. people think color. But I thought the color because of the the, the, the matadors with I, the red. Capes. I think that was more for show. Okay, but they go for so they do the cape because that look that's all moving now. Yeah, got you it. Just see it like this. Yeah, they go for movement more than. Color. Didn't you do a bit? A bit with yeah, you I had a smaller a, matador. I had a small. I did a smaller matador bit with a smaller bull, and it was okay. And Jeff goes, "No, you need to step up to a bigger bull." What and a I prick. did a. I did a big bull with a yoga ball. So I held a yoga ball, and the thing just came over, knocked me back, knocked the yoga ball over. I fell to the ground, and luckily this clown like jumped on me because he came and was about to like horn my head. Yeah, it was gnarly. Fuck, dude. I wrote a bit where I wanted to put Knoxville in a bull costume and have him go in a china shop and then release a real bull in there with him. <laughs> and they loved the idea, but they said it was just too much money to make it really good. You'd yeah. have to buy all the stuff in there for it to destroy, and it would just cost too much money to make. Wow. Still yeah. love that idea. That though. is a good one. The bull in the china shop, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we should, shh, on ideas that, you know, haven't been done yet, because there's other people out there that I think will copycat as usual <laughs> i went i went trying yeah. to get in on all this <laughs> yeah. good luck i God. wanted to run this past you guys because I, I just went and watched steve-o like try his new set out and he was talking about all the the things that he's going to do for his next show and one of the things and one of the things that i thought was really gnarly is he says he's going to put a gun to both cheeks right here and see if he could blow a hole through one cheek through the other and i'm like how do you gauge that like Cause you know what I mean—the fire and like the the yeah. pointing and the aiming—that just sounds gnarly. Well, what gets you when you get shot is infection. You know, you get shot, and that all that violent stuff gets around there and it gets infected. Sure. Yeah. So I don't know how you could do it without yeah. risking infection and death. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or blowing your jaw off. You know. Yeah, it's not a bullet just because it goes through a window like that big yeah. doesn't mean right at the end of the gun there's not a lot of shit going on that yeah, it goes or, off or like you. what if you're like holding still right and they're, they're like all right one two three and you sneeze you and, like move you're like, and oh, actually you know, like, uh the kickback on yeah. guns your gun doesn't stay and just shoot a bullet out it moves the barrel moves was there was there stunts that you guys like did on on uh on Jackass were did you guys have to run them through MTV first? Oh, yeah. Were they like, nope? Did, it, was that there was, any stunts where they are like, nope, you're not doing that? Nope. Oh, yeah, there was tons. That's why Knoxville quit the series at the end wow. of the series because they, they wouldn't let him do anything. And they were just, he'd turn in a list and he said they'd knock five stuff off there you just immediately, no, 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 no. And he's like, we're trying to make a show and we're trying to make it badass. And you're, not, you're taking that away, you know, making it like some sort of uh, fake three, three Stooges type thing, you know? I feel like with Jackass, you guys started like this kind of cult following where everyone kind of started doing that, their own thing. Was there ever times where like, oh, we can't do it because another group already did that? Or you guys already, I think you we guys' were, stuff was so... I like, think we were more on the forefront of it. Okay. No, absolutely. And absolutely. then everybody was copying us. No. 
absolutely. That's, that's, that's kind of what I meant. Like, yeah, like, that's why I think we've lasted this long. Like, we have a good group that comes up with the ideas and stuff, and we get ahead of the game, and we're already doing stuff before everybody else. Yeah. But, like, people have the same ideas. Uh, Dave England and I pitched uh, Chinese penis cuffs on the exact same day where we wanted to take two dudes, and, you know, I'm talking about those Chinese yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the finger on traps. Two dudes yeah. Dicks. You know, when Dave and I pitched that idea the same day, both of us, we just couldn't believe we did it. And then they did it on uh, Family Guy. Mm. They did that same. So people come up with the same stuff all the time. It's just like if you go out and you do stand up, so many people do, <laughs> they talk about weed, they talk about their crazy grandma, you know, it's, <laughs> and they talk about the share button on porn. It's like, and I've heard so many comedians no, make those jokes, you know, and they, and they get mad because they think someone stole their joke, but no, every, people come up with the same stuff. Because we all watch the same Simpsons, you know. We watch this Saturday Night Live. They all we got the same with, culture. With, with me, with, with, with stand-up, um, I've gone and auditioned for places, and then I've had, like, feedback afterwards. If you want to get the feedback. And someone told me that I look and I sound like Brad Williams. So, And this was, like, two years ago. So in my head, I'm thinking, I'm like, am I stealing this dude's jokes? You know, without knowing I'm stealing them. And it's like, no, but, like... The dude does jokes. Brad does jokes about being called Peter Dinklage, the guy from Game of Thrones. We all have gotten, I don't know of him, but every little person gets called that. So you eventually come up with a joke about it. So, but what his thing was, was you need to be more specific with the experiences that happen to you. It can't just be like, why do you get called Peter Dinklage? You know, you got to kind of get into it to the joke of it, of, your, uh, of what you dealt with. And so I, I got that, but there was a nicer way of saying it rather than like, hey, you look and you sound like this dude. It's like I'm always in everyone's fucking shadow. That's just I, when it comes like I, 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 skateboarding, I'm in this guy's shadow. Fucking <laughs> then I become an actor. I'm in Peter Dinklage, you know, like and then I be, try stand up. And now I'm Brad Williams. It's like I can't. It's like I'm fucking cursed, but I got to get out of it. That's strange because like people work based on like, wow, that guy looks like Tom Cruise and they'll get work just based on absolutely kind of looking like, you know, people get work based on that. It's no, that, that is true. That's a positive way to look at but it. You got blackballed. Yeah. You got <laughs> a midget <you>. bulb. <laughs> <laughs> midget bulb? Is that what you midget call? I don't think that's ever been said. That's no, really cool. That's a, yeah, <laughs> you got midget bulb, dude. You're but, welcome. <laughs> Speaking of acting and gigs, have you thought about, I know you're writing stuff and all that, but have you thought about going, I, I know you don't want to go to castings, obviously, but have you thought about going and doing other movies, other people's I just, productions? Um, I just, I, I didn't get it, but I had an audition for a, a movie uh, with Sam William Scott in it here f a month ago. Damn, and I, Sean William Scott. Oh, Stifler. Sean, uh, Stifler. Stifler, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's filmed in uh, Alabama or something like that. I sent in a tape, but uh, but I didn't get it. I was, but my guy was a, a white guy who wants to be black character, you know, with the grill teeth and all that and stuff. So oh. I guess I didn't channel that character. Really. Do, you, do you feel like I mean you 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 had a thing where like when we talked about it w with uh, with as far as like trying to be an actor and stuff you're like I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to be I, I, I didn't want to be in the entertainment business to be like kind of the butt of the joke or like the yeah. little dude or play the yeah, elf yeah, or yeah, play yeah, the yeah. troll or play those yeah, things yeah. Yep. and now with doing jackass and, and being so like in the mainstream with that and in, in, in people's eyes do you feel like it's harder for you to get gigs because you've oh, been pigeonholed into being the, the dude from Jackass? Absolutely. Yep, absolutely, you know, right? You yes, too, right? Totally, 100%. It's just like you, you, you're not going to watch an episode of CSI and see Steve-O come in play, playing a detective. Like a you serious know? dude. <laughs> or, you know, you're not going to watch Emergency and Dr. I'm Dr. Bam Margera. You know, you're just not, not going like, to Oh, him. my God. If, I, if that was a series, I would expect them to, like, be, like, play good cop, bad cop. And he's, like, behind the dude they're interrogating, rubbing his dick on his head or some shit. What's the, one, what's the one's ice tea's on? I love ice tea. He's a, is CSI? Is he CSI? Yes, yes, that is. That is CSI. That would be rad if you and I were like detective cop partners. <laughs> Some, somewhere, like a, a CSI Oklahoma City. Yes, there <laughs> we go. And that's even what's crazy with like when you say Ice T, like, okay. What, when you say Ice T, is like when he first started doing movies and stuff like that, 
like and, and then doing the serious roles, I always saw him as I see because of I listened to his music. And he and then he stopped doing music and just kept doing that. And I, I don't really see him as nothing else than CSI that actor guy, now, man. the CSI, yep. like detective guy. He's rad. Yeah. I love Ice T. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love his persona on life lately. He call he calls people out. I, I, yeah, I uh, he's he posts a lot lately, and I comment on him and stuff, and people back it, and I'm like, I back guys, T man. Did you guys see Cat Williams fucking call people out? Cat Williams, yeah, he's oh, a yeah. comedian. Oh, really? it was amazing. He is so damn funny. I mean, Jesus. I, I was watching. He uh, got into it with a radio DJ lady in uh, Atlanta, and he said, "Did you stop at the Cisco gas station on the way here and buy that jewelry?" <laughs> wow. And he goes, he goes "I'm adding it up, and you are wearing twelve dollars worth of jewelry right now." I was like, oh my god! Oh my gosh. No, he he's he's, he's, he's rode it. Yeah, don't, he's really don't mess really with him. smart. He'll get you. He's yeah. very very he, smart. He so. will get you. Choose your battles, and don't, yeah. don't get in a verbal <laughs> spat with him. He'll. I gotta you. find this guy. This guy sounds <laughs> like. Style. He's, he's a hilarious comedian. I got he's a great actor, but like, yeah, like the all the stuff that's he's been saying is very controversial. He's calling a lot of his people out, so I, I don't really have anything to say about it. But I I, I think he's phenomenal Just, as far as a loose loose tie in talent. Uh, he's has having a beef with uh, Steve Harvey when we went and filmed on Celebrity Family Feud. We man he goes at the end of the day he goes Steve would you like to get some drinks with us tonight and he goes no I would not we man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I totally. He passed. I totally like. Yeah, yeah, I totally asked. <laughs> I wanted to go out and have some drinks with yeah, Steve Harvey, yeah. but he yeah. was like, no. "Not this group." <laughs> I will. Maybe not. if you would have worn one of those suits that he wears and approached him like that, well, would have been like okay. Knoxville did. Knoxville wore the <laughs> same suit as him that day, and I was like, I, I thought about it. He's like, "This is his hometown. He is not going He doesn't know what we're gonna do, and he's definitely not gonna show up to his places with us." But I tried. Was he a pretty nice guy? Sweetheart. Loved yeah. him, dude. One of the, if not the most professional things we've ever been involved in. He's very, yeah. he's just, very, just, he's very professional. Just like, hotels and flights and per diem once yeah. again and everything. Man, they just took such good care of us. Yeah. They were, it was uh, really fun. We, we enjoyed the, the heck out of it. It was uh, more pressure than we ever thought because it wasn't for us. It was for charity, you know. And you don't want to be the guy who's too stupid <laughs> that costs the charity money. No, yeah. it was really, really intense. What charity were you doing it for? I did it for uh, the skateboard Tony Hawk's Skateboard Foundation. Oh, that's cool. And then Preston and those guys did it for Special Olympics. Oh. But they loved. Our, I think our show even turned out to be an hour long. Yeah. And they loved it so much that they said, "You guys are so great. We're donating to both." Wow. And they donated. It was to their both. season finale. I, yeah. I would. I would have done it for. If I had a choice, I would have done it for dwarf adoption. Wow. You way to stab me in the neck, dude. Make me feel cool. You're doing it for something you <laughs> I love. I know. Skateboarding. I'm just That's kidding, a great bro. One. I was kidding. But hey, P, it's great seeing you. I'm no, glad thank you're you. It was town. really fun. I enjoyed it. I, it went by so fast. Yeah, and I'm glad you're in town right now and we got to do this. Um, stop by anytime. Punch and I are going to be doing this until. Uh, Till whenever, you know, we're having fun doing it. Awesome. Till we get canceled, probably. Yeah. You know, I don't know. It'll probably be like by next season. I don't know <laughs> if you can cancel culture midget people. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's evil when he, he laughs. Is. Dude. I, He's so evil. <laughs> he's himself a little get out of jail free card. <laughs> I actually just came out with a, a good uh, dwarf joke, midget joke. I said, so I, I met my first, and you guys can tell me if it's funny or not. All right. It's, you got, it's, it's we're quick. On, we're on time. It's quick. Get, it's, get. it's like 15 seconds. So I go, so I met my first racist dwarf. He was a four foot tall skinhead who called himself foreskin. Oh <laughs> my. Is that stupid? God. No, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> that's gold. That's that is funny. Gold. And then we got into funny. it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's gold. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, I want to thank Preston Lacey for thank coming out. Guys. Thank you so much, Preston, for coming out. This really made our day, thank man. You. Very funny, guys. Thank yep. you. Love doing this. It's a little revolution. But hey, before we go, go to Nima.com, N-I-I-M-A. That's two eyes. Get yourself some supplements. Feel good. Laugh. You know, enjoy life. Put little revolution in the coupon code. Get yourself 15% off. Yeah, dude. Us. I use them. Yeah. 
And they help in multiple ways. Absolutely, man. <laughs> Strong like ox. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Little Revolution. Yeah. Woo! All right.